Hi, this is Carol Baskin. I'm calling you from Tampa, Florida, but it's because I got a call from a woman in Boole, Alabama, who picked up a bobcat kitten that looks to have been hit by a car. And I told her we would cover the veterinary costs if she can get it into a vet. And I wondered if you guys might be able to see it. Let me check real quick, because I know there's like a wildlife law that we can't see some of them, but let me just go check real quick, okay? Okay. Hey. Yes. Okay, I did go check with my doctors. Unfortunately, it's not legal for us to take a look at that, or at wildlife like that. Um, but the oak, like, it's in Birmingham. There's a wildlife rescue there that would, we would refer them to a bit closest. So. And can you tell me the name is, of that place? Oak Mountain. Oak Mountain? Yeah, Oak Mountain Wildlife Rescue, maybe. And you say they're in Birmingham? And do you know how far Birmingham is from Buell? I'm not from Alabama. No, it's fine. I live in Buell. It's about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, not bad. It's, Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. If you have found an injured or orphaned wild mammal, please leave a detailed message. Messages are checked throughout the day, and your call will be returned as soon as possible between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. If you're calling after hours, please take the following steps for overnight care. Thank you for calling. Hello, this is Carol at Big Cat Rescue, and we rescue bobcats in Florida, but I got a call from a woman in Buell, Alabama, who said her husband picked up a bobcat last night who was unable to move on the side of the road. It looks to be about an eight-month-old bobcat kitten. They've sent me two photographs of it, and it's definitely a bobcat. Um, the cat is sitting up, but they haven't seen it stand, so they're worried about the cat's back legs. If you could give them a call, their number is 205 Buell, Alabama, 35446. And um, I'll see if there's any way through your Facebook page I can get these pictures to you. Big Cat Rescue would be happy to pay the vet bill for this cat if you are able to find a vet who will treat the cat. My number is 813. To mark your message urgent, press 2. To mark your message private, press mark urgent. To review or re-record. Wow, I'm from Freshwater Fisheries. Hi, my name is Carol Baskin. I'm calling from Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. I got a call from a woman in Buell, Alabama, who picked up a bobcat who had been hit by a car last night. Looks to be about an eight-month-old kitten. And Let me transfer you to wildlife. Hold on one second for me. Thank you. Check Wildlife Station, this is Veronica. Hello, Veronica. That's actually my daughter's middle name. Oh. <laughs> I'm calling from Tampa, Florida, Big Cat Rescue, but I got a call this morning from a woman in Buell, Alabama, who picked up a bobcat who had been hit by a car last night, and she it looks to be about an eight-month-old kitten, and she's afraid that it has an injured back end, leg or back. It's not standing up in the carrier. And I wondered if you could refer me to a wildlife rehabber or a veterinarian that would be able to take care of the cat. Just hang on one moment. Okay, so did we get someone? <laughs> uh, no. Well, okay. somebody picked up the phone and then I got put on music. Veronica uh, picked up the phone and then I got put on music. Okay, one moment. Meanwhile, Katie just called, and she saw a dead bobcat laying alongside the road in West Chase, so I'm going to go out there and pick that cat up and bring her back so that she you can You have reached Mary Hudson. Please leave a message, and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Hi, Marianne. My name is Carol Baskin, and I'm with Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. I got a call from a woman in Buell, Alabama, who said that last night she rescued a bobcat who had been hit by a car. The photo she sent me, it looks to be about an eight-month-old bobcat. Big Cat Rescue is willing to pay the veterinary care to get this cat rehabbed and released, but I don't know who to contact in Alabama to do that. If you could give me a call, my number is 813. I am giving everyone my phone number in case they can't reach you as well. Period. I just talked to the Alabama... Department of Natural Resources and left a message there for Marianne asking if she can 
suggest a vet or a rehabber. I call the Alabama Department of Natural Resources. There are only four people in the entire state of Alabama who are licensed to rehab bobcats, and they confirm that veterinarians cannot treat a bobcat unless it's brought to them by a rehabber. So even if I pay this woman to take this cat to the vet, the vets can't do anything with it unless I locate a rehabber first. So I'm on rehabber number three. First two, I've left messages. Looks like I'm leaving a message again. I can't get to the phone right now. You would leave a message. You know, I'll get right back to you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To send a fax, press 4 now. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hi, John. I'm calling for April Russ, the Shambhala Wildlife Camper. My name is Carol Baskin from Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. I got a call from a woman in Buell, Alabama, who picked up an eight-month-old bobcat yesterday that looked like it had been hit by a car. She doesn't think the cat can use his back legs. I'm happy to pay for the vet care for this cat. If you give me a call, my number is 813. Hello, you've reached the RSB Wildlife Program hotline. Please listen to this entire message. If you were calling from each area, Hi, this is Melissa with Orange Beach Wildlife Center. I hear that there's a bobcat that needs help. Yes, let me get you that information. The lady who contacted me is not able to her phone while she's at work, but she can, um, if you text her, she can see the text that you're leaving. Okay. And then after work, um, I'm sure she'd be able to talk to you about how you guys can get her. And like I said, I'm happy to pick up the veterinary tab for the bobcat. Okay. Thank you. Let me look up her information here. I don't know her name, but her phone number, go back through all these texts. Her cell number is 205. And is this number you just called me from a, a cell phone? Yes, this is my personal cell. Okay, I'll text you over the photos of the cat. And then okay. her address is one, and that's in Buell, Alabama. And uh, she said, hello, my husband picked up this bobcat on the road. He said it was and could not stand up. We assumed it was hit by a vehicle. Yesterday afternoon, it was not moving at all, but later woke up. Its front paws look fine, but we're not sure of back legs. Um, and they said they haven't seen him stand up. He is in a pet carrier at their home. So is this something where you would be able to go pick up the cat or would they bring the cat to you? Um, so normally we have them bring them to us. We can sometimes work out a transfer, so I just would have to make some calls and see. Um, and then also for, you know, we're city funded, so the city wants our resources spent within city limits. We do have some volunteers that we might be able to kind of set up a, a train. They come this far and then that far you know that sort of thing and pass it off okay. um but are you guys allowed to take donations in addition to your city funding yes we are okay so if there's any costs involved in getting the cat to you just let me know what it is and we're happy to send that okay thank you i really appreciate that and what was your name my name is carol baskin and i'm from carol big, baskin. big cat rescue okay we, that's in tampa right it is we want a bobcat rehab but obviously we can't do it outside of the state and right yeah I think I've, I'm pretty sure the uh, fish and game officer that this is like your first bobcat so this is going to be like the most exciting thing you ever do <laughs> as somebody who does it all the time they are just amazing animals and the, the best day of your life is going to be the day you are able to set that cat free oh well, cool I'm excited I hope it all uh, works out I know that you said you called several other people so I don't know if one might show up that's closer that y'all are wanting to go with We're, we'll have we'll happily take the cat um but you know i just want to make sure we get it to someone as soon as possible so um i will text her and see and she probably like you said won't be able to talk with me till the end of the day is that right well she's been texting me back all day so okay. i'm thinking she can probably text you if you text her um okay. she just can't pick up the phone at her work and if the other three do call me, what I'll do is just put that with you, if that's okay. And that way, yeah. we don't have you know different people all racing after the same cat. Right. 
That sounds good. Do you know who it was that you contacted? Yeah, there's only four of you in the state. Um, mm -hmm. There's Shambhala Wildlife, mm -hmm. Mary Stockard in Birmingham. Right. And Orange Beach. That's uh, us. Orange Beach is on. Oh, okay. I thought you were Elisa from... I'm Melissa. Um, I wonder if there's Melissa two. Melissa from Orange Beach Wildlife Center. And oh, the Melissa. Name, <laughs> mm -hmm, the name might show up, like on Outdoor Alabama, it might show up as Wade Stevens. That's okay. us. We're all the same. Okay. So the last, the last person is the person I thought was the first person to ever do a bobcat, or it's going to be her first bobcat, and her name is Alyssa. Okay. She's only had okay. a permit for a week, so... Oh, wow. I apologize okay. if you have experience. I, I didn't realize. No, I, I don't. I actually don't. I believe my boss does. Okay. I don't have experience with that before. And um, we're happy to help you with anything that you might need to know as far as that goes, because we do usually six to ten a year. Okay. Do you ever raise them solos? I mean, I know that the goal is to always get them with others, but if that's not a possibility, do you ever worry about imprinting? Are they easy to imprint at a young age? They are at a young age, but this is about eight months old, so this cat is not. Oh, no, I thought you were saying eight weeks. No, okay. no, no. <laughs> gotcha. Eight months. Eight months. That's a different story. Okay. Good deal. Uh, to right, answer your well, question, though, we we try to raise them with others, but if we can't, right. if they're little, sometimes from with feral cats. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Yeah, because that way you're not you're not ruining a cat that could have a home if you were able to tame it if it's our own. Right. I haven't thought about that. It's a yeah. challenge. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever worry about, I guess, disease transfer? But a lot of anyway. So. And we vaccinate everybody. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, all right. thank you so much, well, Melissa. Thank you all. If it comes to us, I'll probably be for some chips. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. All right. Thanks. Bye. My niece Katie called, and she said she saw a bobcat. She's sure the bobcat's dead because it's got bugs on it already. On the side of the road, on Racetrack Road by Fountainhead, which is where we've released Thor and a female bobcat. And... We know Thor's wife lives up there because we've seen those guys on camera traps. So I'm really hoping it's not any bobcat that we know, but it's sad that it's any bobcat at all. So I hope this has a happy ending for the cat, and I will certainly keep you posted if they keep me posted, but I thought you might find it interesting to see what it's like in the course of a day here. What you don't see is all of the other places that I had to call before I figured out who the right people were to call, and then calling each one of the right people and getting their mail and having to leave a, a message. Meanwhile, my niece Katie contacted me and she was very upset because as she was driving home, she saw a bobcat dead on the side of the road on Racetrack Road near Fountainhead and that's very close to the area where Thor was released. So we were really worried that that might be Thor. And she is, um, actually Lauren is going up there with Elisa to see whether or not that's Thor. And of course we will pick that cat up and bring the cat back for a proper burial. And in the middle of all of this, my cat was sick and we had to go live on the dodo and we just have so many other things going on at the sanctuary. So it's just, Another typical crazy day, but I thought you might enjoy seeing what one of those actually looks like. <laughs>